Hello, Quantum Wizard Ira here, and I'm going to show you a little experiment and practice exercise for rehearsing and, I guess, showing yourself that you have some magical abilities that you see people may be having. Like, uh, some popular magicians or known wizards. So I'm going to take some foil here. I'm going to bend it like so. And now, I'm going to push the foil. Not with wind. Like, let's see. Oh, whoops. I gave you a little sneak peek of what I was trying to do. So this is telekinesis in a way, a form of telekinesis. Telekinesis can be performed in many different ways. Projection of energy, I guess like uh, holding energy with energy, and well, there are many other ways. But that quick way was, I basically grabbed it and moved it. So, I'm going to show you that wind will not push it. And just as I did before. Okay, so wind will make it budge, but it will not move it. Not entirely. So let's put it back here. And now, let's see if you see this energy in the video. I see it. So, we're going to have this energy connect with the foil. Alright, so it connected. Now let's create some distance so I have really no wind at my disposal. Nothing. Nothing. Now if you see the energy that I'm using, you'll notice that it's not connecting. So, with a little bit of indifference in the form of passion, or passion in the form of indifference, we'll try to make this work. Yep, there it goes. When I was finally indifferent, it connected. So let's try the other hand. I was wanting it to move. Not really wanting it to move. Let's see how this goes. I'm definitely not caring if it moves. Okay, I was actually caring if it moved. Okay, I'm gonna try something new, because I've made a move a few times. So... Kame... Hame... Ha! Okay, that was lame. Okay. <laughs> that was fun. Well, I showed you that you can make it move, and I guess I can show it a little bit more. But I just picked this up today from a good friend of mine, Power, or Powers. I think it's Power. I have to look at the uh, TikTok. I'll correct it in the uh, video edit. But anyways, <sighs> I kind of want to make it move some more. Now, one tip for when you're doing this, do not be afraid of utilizing the wind to carry your will. The air is part of the energy. So, let's get some distance like before. And also remember to breathe. 
I gave a video on breathing in mana, an ancient mana exercise to rejuvenate your body. Make sure you have energy when you're trying to do this because the more reasoning you have that it should work, the more reason it will work. And from my experimentation, maybe indifference is one of the most powerful passions and passion does influence your work in magic and, well, stuff like this, which I consider magic. But to me, everything's magic. Plants growing, uh, growing, I mean, stuff like that. But anyways, let's get back to trying to make this foil move. All right. Ah, yes. As you can see, I really didn't change much about it, and it still moved. All right. But part of this experiment is to control the flow of energy. Because in creating a flow of energy, you are creating your own wind. So even if you don't want to consider it wind, what is wind besides just a gathering of things that are light enough to be in the air? Which includes really any sort of energy. Let's try again. Okay, that was a cool combo. Now, one thing I have to reveal, so I could make this move every single time, but you wouldn't learn as much from it. From failure and observing failure, you can see that each time it doesn't move, my energy did not fully connect to it. I'm holding myself back so you can see. So, let's see if we can get a successful movement. Connect. See there where I commanded that connection? That should be enough for you to have faith in yourself when you're doing this. I wrote in my book that with all spells, it is important to follow through. Follow through, follow through, follow through. You control the follow through. So, although you saw me fail, you saw me purposely succeed as well, as <clears throat> also as purposely failing. So, can you do it next? Let's make this a new challenge. Let's make magic the new normal. Peace out, peace in, peace all around. See ya. All right, so some are probably wondering, Isaiah, why is indifference 
so powerful when it comes to magic. Well, what is love? What is hate? What is indifference? They are labels on a spectrum of feeling. Love, hate, indifference. Now, love. If you love someone, would you try to change them? Or do you just love them as they are? Some may say yes or no. And, well, there really is no answer. I say the answer is yes and no. Because results may vary. Now, if we take the tinfoil experiment I just did. Let's see, where is it? Where are you? There you are. I said that I tried using indifference to move it. Because, truly, indifference, I don't care where it goes, I'm going to make it go somewhere. Now, if I love that object, do I really want to alter its course? It's just chilling there. It's not doing anyone any harm. But I'm about to change its fate, even in the slightest. So, if you have any doubt to make your work or spell follow through, it will not connect and follow through to succession. Now, if you hate that object, maybe that may be a block for yourself, and that's why that spell may not follow through. Let me try. I couldn't hate the object. I'm sorry guys, hate's weak. But anyways, yeah, indifference is about the outcome and what you're willing to be the burden of. Maybe you with hate, you don't want the outcome of your hate being on your conscience, even as small as it may be as moving a foil. Now, in that sense, love and hate they're not so different. They can both enable us and hinder us. Love is more powerful, I believe, while hate is the weaker end of vibration. But indifference is like the unbiased bit of the two. So, indifference you're willing to make that leap to change the outcome to what you choose. You simply live it. So, utilize your indifference. Empower yourself. Be the rock. Be the water. Be indifferent. Peace out. Peace in. Peace all around. <laughs>